Today we're taking a look at the Thompson. In BF5 it's known as the M1928A1. And I can guarantee that most people who have either played an older video game or even watched a movie have come across the Thompson in one way or another. It could have been a war game or a movie or perhaps even a gangster movie because as we will get onto shortly, the Thompson or Tommy Gun as it was known, well, it's got a bit of a bad reputation, it's a bit of a bad boy. Now I would say that this weapon is one of the most iconic guns of all time, let alone of World War II. And we were able to use a prototype version of the Thompson in Battlefield 1, dubbed the Annihilator, but it was only in 1919 that that weapon was officially called the Thompson machine gun. Now there were also other early versions of this gun called the Persuader. They really did like their ominous names back then, didn't they? After all of those, I suppose the generic Thompson machine gun is a bit more boring, but it's definitely more marketable. It was actually available in BF1, but that version was an early prototype, and in reality, never actually made it into combat during the First World War, which of course was the war it was initially developed for, and it first entered production as the Model 1921, and around 150,000 were initially made. Now while the Thompson may be well known for its use in World War II, it is arguably more well known or infamous, let's say, for its use by gangsters during the US Prohibition era from the 1920s onwards. It was priced at $200, which back then was, believe it or not, an incredible amount of money. And with a new Ford costing around $400, it meant that really the only people who could afford the gun were rich businessmen or criminals. And because of its small compact nature and fast firing rate, criminals flocked to this gun. It was marketed to police as the anti-bandit gun and the safest gun to shoot in the city streets. Can you imagine that sort of marketing nowadays? No, not at all. As such though, in the 20s, the Tommy gun was a common sight among police forces and criminals alike and is of course made famous in a ton of movies and TV shows. And it wasn't short of nicknames either. Check some of these out that I found with a bit of research. The Annihilator, the Persuader, which of course we talked about, they were both early prototype names, but then the Chicago Typewriter, what? The Chicago Piano, the Chicago Organ Grinder, the Trench Broom, the Chopper, Actually, a lot of these names involve Chicago, which should tell you how prominent that weapon exactly was in the city during that time amongst criminals. It was the Prohibition era and crime was very high. Now, the FBI didn't acquire Thompson's until 1933. And while the US Postal Service had been using these guns to protect mail from robberies, the US military didn't fully adopt this gun until 1938 but it quickly became a favourite with them. In BF5 we get the M1928A1 version of the gun, before World War II broke out, or was not rosy for the Thompson Company though. In 1934 the National Firearms Act prohibited the use of automatic and concealable weapons by civilians in the US without large scale military contracts, and the Thompson Company struggled. In fact, they were in large debt. Potential customers though, such as the British government, absolutely considered it as a gangster weapon and refused to purchase the gun. But of course, when World War II all kicked off, that all changed. To be fair, a number of high profile criminals such as John Dillinger and Machine Gun Kelly, and that gave the weapon a bit of a bad name. And two were used during the infamous St. Valentine's Massacre in 1929, in which seven members of the Northside gang were gunned down by four men two of which were using Thompson machine guns. Can you believe that at one point you could go into any Chicago hardware store and either buy or rent one of these? It's just a different time. Now when it comes to Battlefield 5, I think that it's one of the better weapons in the game, with a rate of fire of 720 and a 50 round magazine if you've got the upgraded specialization, turning the magazine into a gangster style drum mag. or 20 if you don't and you're a bit of a purist, and a 20 round capacity was much like the real life version of this gun. Overall the Thompson, it's an iconic weapon, but it's also got an incredible history in both the war and in America during the Prohibition period. Infamous and heroic at the same time, without a doubt. And that's all for today guys, do let me know if you use the Thompson in PF5 and what your thoughts of it are. I had it with the hipfire spec here in this video and 
you know absolutely shredded with that faster rate of fire but let me know how you set yours up and that's all guys leave a like if you liked the video a dislike if you didn't subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one